everyone, this is Kim with the Abundant Life Tarot and I wanted to jump on here and do a quick video on deck collecting. And this is specifically speaking to deck collecting with mass market produced decks versus independently produced decks. And I wanted to just share some tips that I wrote down in my note, my actually my day planner. Um, to just share with you some thoughts and some tips on your deck collecting. And again, these are just my tips, my suggestions. Not You don't have to employ any of this stuff. This is just some considerations um, as you collect your decks. Um, I have amassed uh, quite a few decks and I have seen all that takes place with um, deck production and you have your mass market uh, production and then you have independently produced decks and each has their own set of issues so to speak so let's just talk about some of that a lot of people get excited to get new decks I know I do and mass market decks are just as exciting as getting an independently produced deck delivered on your door and if you're like me I'm a YouTuber and I like to be the first to get the decks because I want to be the first to um, do my unboxing, post it up for people to see, and then there you go. Um, but now, not now, and I don't know if it's recent, but maybe it's always been like this, but it just seems like there's this thirst for decks, right? There's this, this push for decks to be cranked out right away and with that comes a lot of quality issues and then you're dealing with customer service issues of having to return a deck and so it got me to thinking like do we really need to uh, buy the deck right away and maybe i get why i was wanting to do that i get why i would want to get the decks right away but over time i'm like um I don't necessarily need to get the deck right away. I could still do an unboxing and, and not have to be the first one to do the unboxing. I think the world will be okay and it'll save me a headache. So I kind of beating myself up because I ended up ordering the Light Sears Tarot Mass Market Edition um, maybe a few days ago. And I was like, this is even too soon. I should have waited a couple of months is what I was telling myself because that allows the publisher to get the kinks out if there's issues. And I didn't, uh, I didn't wait. So we'll see what I get in the coming days that it's supposed to land on my doorstep. But uh, yeah, I was like, why are we rushing? Maybe we should wait a couple of months as opposed to being lickety split on that. So that was a tip. You know, think about, you know, pausing for a moment. Mass market is not going anywhere. In fact, they're going to be around for a while with those decks. So you don't have to worry about rushing, especially if you are the type of collector that really wants a quality deck that maybe you want to one day hold on to and sell in the future. Even mass market produced decks go out of print and then they become valuable because of that. So I get it. You want a good, beautiful product. And for those who read professionally and you are, you want a deck, especially like a mass market produced deck um, to work with, again, it also behooves you to wait until the kinks are worked out because you want a good, strong, solid deck that's going to withstand a lot of wear and tear. So it got me to thinking that all of us could probably benefit from waiting. Now, you know who doesn't benefit from us waiting is probably the publisher or the deck collector. But, you know, they'll get theirs. We just need to make sure that the product is like on point before it like goes out the door. And it's hard to do that. You know, I get it, but I just thought it would save some heartache. So let's see. Just looking at my notes here. The, oh, yeah. So what, you know, 
So you're basically dodging a bullet if you wait. You're, you're basically, unfortunately, there's some poor soul who, who has to deal with the customer service nightmare, but you have saved yourself a headache if you decided to wait. And let's see. Um, so this, of course, is very different than independent independently produced decks um you know there's kickstarter that's you know crowd uh funding for decks there's um creators who just they don't even use kickstarter they just you know create out of their own money um then you know there's all these different ways that independent independently produced decks come about and it, you know, usually takes a longer period of time, not always, but usually, and you're going to usually get a much more beautiful, like unique and high quality product when it comes to a, an independently produced deck. So here's the thing that I have about those decks is that I'll cut mass market publishers some slack on the quality of the deck, but not so much the time frame. I don't have a lot of patience for mass market produced decks that take a long time to publish. Um, but I also, with that being said, um, with independently produced decks, I don't have a lot of patience for quality issues to, of the debt and of service. Uh, because I expect that I expect because I'm paying more, I'm expecting more service. I'm expecting a really high quality product. So it's funny for me how that is, how I'm more forgiving with mass marketly produced decks on, you know, the quality of the deck, but not so much on the time. And then it's the opposite for me for independently produced decks. And so I thought that was, that was an interesting observation I made about myself. And I won't be mad if an independently produced deck takes two years to come out, two or three years, um, and then it comes out and it's the most amazing thing you've ever seen. But I would be really like a little miffed about a mass market or you know mass produced deck when you've got a big publishing house behind it so yeah i think the big takeaway from this video that i'm trying to leave with you is um adopt patience when it comes to um deck creators um independent as well as even the mass market because Adopt patience with mass market by pacing yourself and giving them a month or two to work out the kinks of the deck issues. And then for deck creators, allow them a little more room um, on time frame if you decide to invest in a, you know, a, a independently produced deck because they need more time. Whereas um, I don't necessarily agree with that for a mass market produce decks and um i would be very upset if after waiting three two or three years for a deck um to come out independently produced and then it's subpar and i would be really mad for a mass market um, company to take their sweet time and yeah you may have had a great deck but it's like okay so those are just some thoughts just some thoughts I want to hear from you. What do you think about this topic and what do you do in terms of um, kind of practicing patience and restraint when it comes to deck collecting and dealing with these little issues and nuances that happen in the whole process of getting your new deck? I want to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. So much love and many blessings to all of you. I'll see you all in the next video.